Hello and welcome to the Kane Forensics video series. In this video, we will look at using autopsy to analyze the Windows registry. Please help me out by hitting the subscribe button so I get to design my own tattoos. The questions we're going to answer in this video are typical questions you are going to answer when you are doing a forensics examination. This video will be using the autopsy framework to answer the questions. In a different video, we used Reg Ripper and Fred to answer these same questions. Check that out to see which method you like better. It's always good to verify your results with a different tool and always good to understand behind the scenes of how the tools derive their answers. Step 1. Create a new case. Let's launch Autopsy and then create a new case. We're going to enter a case name. I'm going to call it NIST underscore leakage because that's the case that we're going to be using. And then we're going to choose the base directory. Let's put it in the location of our working drive. So in my case, it's slash media slash sdb2. Next, you can choose single or multi-user. Let's click on the only thing available, which is single user. In the optional information pop-up, you can enter the optional case number, which we're going to put BM-28341, and then the examiner info, which is already filled in from when we ran autopsy prior. And we're also going to pick the organization we had used before, which is the Springfield Police Department. Step two, let's add a data source. For a disk image, let's go ahead and choose the CFREDS 2015 data leakage PC image, which is under r slash media slash sdb2. If you want to follow along, the link to download the data set is in the description below. And if you did download the data sets, make sure you're pointing to the one that says PC because there's a few other ones that are there. Next, we're going to choose our time zone. I'm going to pick GMT-5 for Toronto. And then next, we're going to let the program auto-detect the sector size. Step 3, configure the ingest modules. Let's go ahead and deselect them all, and then select the recent activity module. This is the ingest module that we want because it runs the registry analysis. Then click Next. As the process is running, you can click on the bottom right corner of the status bar to see what the program is doing. One of the steps you will notice is analyze registry files, which is mostly what we are interested in doing for this video. Once it's done, let's answer the questions. Question number one, what is the operating system that was used on the computer? So if we look on the left-hand side here under extracted content, this is the output of that ingest module. And so let's go ahead and select the one that says operating system information. And basically in here we see two source files for the software hive. Um, let's go ahead and click on the first one and look at the content panel. So if you see here, you can see under the source path file that this is from the folder called regback. So this is a backup of the registry. Let's select the second software hive and then take a look at the content panel. This is the one that's the active software hive. So let's look at the data that's within this one. And from here, you can see that the operating system is Windows 7 Ultimate Service Pack 1. Question 2. When was the install date? We can get the answer under the same uh, ingest module. Under the header of date and time, we can see that the install date is March 22nd of 2015 at 9.34, 26 seconds. Note that this is the local time, which in this case was set to Eastern Daylight Time. Question three, who is the register owner? We can get the answer again with the same module. If you look under owner, we can see that the owner is informants. 
Question four, what is the computer name? Well, once again, we're going to use the same module, but this time we're going to look under the system hive, and we're going to pick the one that's not the backup. And then under the um, header name, we can see that the computer name is informant PC. Question five, who was the last user to log on to the PC? We are going to look under the extracted content on the left hand side and this time we're going to pick the operating system user account and then from here we can sort the column that's named date accessed and we're going to do a reverse sort and once we do that we have the answer on top with the last login dates of 2015 March 25th at 14.45, and that would be informant. Question six, what is the account name of the user who mostly uses the computer? And once again, we're gonna be looking at the operating system user account output, and we can sort by the column that's named counts. We can see that the user informant had a login count of 10. Question seven, when was the last recorded computer shutdown date and time? Well, there is no ingest module that obtains this data. So we will have to do this uh, using the directory tree on the left-hand side and finding the system hive. Or what we can do here is click on the extracted content operating system information output. And then from there, click on the system hive and then underneath on the data content pane, we can click on the application tab. And then we can go ahead and navigate down to control set 001, control, and then windows. And once we get there, you can see that the value of the shutdown time. And here, recorded in the registry, the timestamp is recorded in a Windows 64-bit hex little Indian format. So we're gonna have to convert this to something that humans can read. So one of the ways we can do this is using the CyberChef website. So let's go ahead and launch our browser and navigate to icyberchef.com. Once we're here, what we can do is type in that timestamp we just had. So it's 57, 19, 48, B5, 10, 6, 7, D, 0, 0, 1. So the first thing we need to do is change the little Indian notation so that it's something that other tools can work with. So let's go ahead and type in a search term so we can find the swap Indianness formula. So we're gonna double click on that. And what we're gonna do is we wanna convert from hex with eight byte words. So let's go ahead and change this to eight bytes. The second thing we need to do is, as you can see on the bottom pane, the output pane is that there are white spaces. That's just the output of the swap Indianness module. So we're gonna grab a remove white space module. Double click on that. And now you can see the white spaces are gone. Next, we are going to want the Windows file time to Unix timestamp module. So we search for that. Double click. And here, let's double check on our output. So the um, input is going to be in seconds, which is fine. And then the output will we want to have in hex. And the last step we're going to do is we want to change it from Unix timestamp. So search for that, double click, and then from here we want to double check that the uh, expected input is the same as the last stage, which is in seconds. And here our result is that the last recorded shutdown time is March 25th, 2015 at 15.31 UTC. Question 8. What is the time zone settings? 
Again, there is no ingest module that obtains this data, so we will have to use the directory tree on the left-hand side to go to the system hive, or what we did before. Since we already have it up, we're just going to continue this method. We're going to navigate to control set 001, control, then time zone information. And we, if we look at the value set called time zone key name, we get the uh, result of Eastern Standard Time. Question nine, explain the information of network interfaces with an IP address assigned by DHCP. So there is no ingest module, so we're gonna have to go directly to the system hive. We're gonna navigate to control set 001, services, TCP IP, parameters, and then interfaces. As you can see, as I'm going to each subdirectory, I'm just typing the first letter or the first couple of letters, and then it'll hop down uh, so you don't have to scroll and find them. And if we look at this table, we can see that we have a DHCP address of 10.11.11.129. The subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. Your DHCP server is at 10.11.11.254. We have a DHCP name server, default gateways, etc. Question 10. List all accounts in the operating system except for the system accounts. So if we look at the extracted content section, there is an output called operating system user account. And what we can see here is the list of user accounts. And so the system accounts are the ones in the 500 series in the SID here. And so everything else, which is 1,000 and over, is the uh, created accounts. Question 11. What applications were installed by the suspect after installing the OS? So from question two, we know that the install date was March 22nd of 2015 at 14.35 GMT. So what we can do is under extract the content, we can take a look at the installed programs. Then what we can do is sort by the date and time column. And then you just see everything here then what we can do is we can save this table as a CSV and then from there we can probably sort out all the timestamps that is after the install. Question number 12. List the external storage devices attached to the PC. So once again we're going to look under the extracted content section and there is a module that's called USB device attached. And if we scroll through here, we can see that we have two SanDisk Cruiser fits which were connected to the computer. And so in here we can have the make and model and the device IDs. And again, if you want to, you can save the output as a CSV file by clicking the button up here. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video where we took a look at using autopsy to analyze the Windows registry using ingest modules and manual searching. Hope you enjoyed it, and if so, click on the thumbs up icon to like this video. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when the next video comes out. Also, please leave me messages in the comment section below so I know what you liked and didn't like or what you may want to see in future videos. See you next time.